In the last two days, tension was beginning to mount at Maraba border between Uganda and Kenya when trucks of fuel started piling, raising fear of a possible fuel crisis. The crisis, according to the drivers at Maraba, was attributed to the slow pace at which SIGPA, the company responsible for quota control, was doing its work. The major complaint was there was understaffing and uh, the, their the laborers were few and they were not doing according to the expectations of the driver. That's why the trucks were many and they were not being cleared so fast. That's how wanaenda wanafuta wafanyikazi without prior warning. Nagari zinakuja. Per day, a hundred trucks zikuja hapa. Watu tatu wanaeza fanya kazi ya hiyo kweli. By last evening, the number of fuel trucks started leaving the parking yard, descending to Uganda and other neighboring countries. And uh, they try to increase the staff, and uh, you can see, as you can see here, the trucks have reduced a bit. The numbers have reduced, but still, we still need more, especially on the side of Mark. The one who is measuring marker should be at least they should add us one person so that marker comes in at least so that the trucks can be moving as fast as possible. These delays that have been happening over time forced the government of Uganda to license a private company Lake Victoria Logistics to transport fuel using marine vessel carrying 4.5 million liters from Kisumu to Bugiri Kauku in Wakiso district. It is expected that the transportation of fuel via the lake will lower pump prices further. Ours is distribution, logistics and um, hospitality. And ours to reduce the cost of fuel transportation from now currently 46 uh, US, US cents to 20. That's a huge, huge variance. And that should be able to bring slightly the cost of transport down, I mean the cost of fuel in the outlets. If that is manifesting, I'm happy for it.